Today we're going to be cooking a traditional Chinese curry. For this you will need two chicken breasts, one medium onion, one courgette, about 100 grams of baby corn, some ginger and some garlic. To start, ensure your wok is on a high heat. And then you'll need two tablespoons of oil. Then first of all you add your onions. You're waiting to hear it sizzle, and then you know your pan is hot enough. Then you add your ginger and your garlic, and these are your three main ingredients when cooking authentic Chinese cuisine. You're looking for your onions to be translucent and slightly coloured, and this should take one to two minutes. Next, you're going to add your chicken. And the curry paste, curry paste at the same time. You need about one tablespoon per person. So for two chicken breasts, I'm going to add four tablespoons of the paste. You add the paste at the same time as the chicken to ensure maximum absorption of all the flavours. Keep stirring and maybe turn the heat down to more of a medium heat. You're cooking the curry uh, paste out now to ensure all of the flavours are released into the chicken and into the curry itself. Ensure that all your chicken is coated in the paste. You want to cook your curry paste out for about three minutes. For this dish, you could also add things like potatoes and peas and carrots, which also give it a nice flavour and different textures and colours. As you're cooking up the curry paste, you'll notice there is a stronger sense of the aromas from the spices inside the curry paste itself. Once your curry paste has started to cook out and your chicken is sealed on all sides, add your courgettes and your baby corn. Ensure they're also coated in curry paste. Next, you add water. This you can add to however you feel you'd like the desired consistency. If you feel that you need um, you need it to be a bit thicker, you can add more paste. Or if you feel it's a bit too thick, you can just add a bit more water. You're now looking for your paste to dissolve in the water and to reach the desired consistency and to ensure that your chicken is thoroughly cooked. If you didn't want to use chicken, you could also use any other protein, such as pork or shellfish also works really nicely in this dish. For those of you who like curry sauce from a chip shop, this is a very similar taste. When your chicken and vegetables are cooked and you've reached the desired consistency of your curry, turn off the heat. To enhance it, just add a few drops of sesame oil. There you have Chinese chicken curry. Okay. And to serve. You'll notice the variation in the colours from the different vegetables and from the curry sauce itself. This curry is traditionally served with rice, however it could be served with a jacket potato or if chilled could be served in a baguette if the sauce isn't too thick. All the ingredients are available in the Wingit Superstores and the dry ingredients are available online.